Hey guys, welcome to Dumb Still Hobbies, and today is the day, today is the day, oh my god, today is the day, guys. My fish are coming in. Oh my god. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Oh my god, this is gonna be so cool. I've, I've wanted these guys for a while, and I, believe me, I'm going to make another video talking about why I got them, how I got into them, and what you need to know about them. That will be in my next video, but in today's video we're going to be doing multiple things. First off, this fish needs a certain secret aquascaping material to survive. In the aquarium because this is how they survive in the nat natural wild. So we are going to unbox the secret certain aquascaping material. I have it in that tank right now. We're going to I, I'm going to uh, give it to Dylan a few days ago. He's gonna unbox it for you and show you guys what that was like. What my super secret aquascaping material was for this fish, and my super secret aquascaping material is going to right away reveal what I'm keeping. So, that, that's why I haven't showed you guys that material yet, because I wanted it to be a surprise. After that, we're going to be back here. I'm going to tell you guys how I prepared for the fish, and then we are going to unbox the fish. Oh my god, I cannot wait for this. Without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. I'm gonna give it to uh, myself about know, a week ago. And he'll, unbo he'll unbox the super secret aquascaping material for this 9 gallon vehicle flex. Hey guys! And it's me from about two weeks ago. So, today, I got a box. And this is a uh, really important box because of the type of fish I want to keep. Today, this is the sort of secret aquascaping material that this fish needs to really survive in this tank. And to reveal this, means I'm revealing the fish, which is why I'm planning to upload this within the video of when I um, of when I unbox the fish. So you are guys are going to get like a double unboxing, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna unbox this, and then we're going to unbox the fish. So what I got here is really really important. Oh, wrong knife, wrong knife. That's what you get for using a pocket knife, right? You got all these different blades to choose from. So what did I get? What fish am I going to be keeping? What is this secret aquascaping material that these fish need to live with? That up later. Uh, just and this, this is what's important. Okay, let me show you guys this. I bet you guys can already tell me. Shelves. The reason why I got shelves is, well, I'll let the future guy tell you. Right now, I got some shelves. Real quick, before I end this segment of the video, I need to go clean these shelves. I'm going to show you how I clean these shelves before I put them in my tank. Let's go ahead and do that now. 
Okay, to clean the shelves, it's really not hard to do. All you have to do is you don't want to use soap because, of course, soap can really hurt your tank. It can hurt the biological filtration and possibly kill your fish. No, you don't want to use soap. What you want to do is you want to put them in the pot. You want to fill that pot up with water. And you want to boil them from anywhere between 15 minutes to 30 minutes. I ended up boiling them for 30 minutes. And then I stuck them in the tank. Well, now I can actually turn on the light and show you guys the tank, right? There it is. All nice and pretty. So, uh, the camera is never going to capture the real color and beauty of this tank, especially not this camera. This is just off my computer. Uh, later on, when we actually unbox the fish, I will take closer shots of this tank with my other camera. My other camera has better color and everything, so you'll be able to see how beautiful this tank actually is real soon. But without further ado, there's the tank. Now, before I go get the fish and unbox them, let me go ahead and tell you guys how I prepared this aquarium for the new fish, okay? So first off, what I did, and you saw this in an earlier video, so I'm just retraining uh, my steps here, okay? What I did is I took this bucket, a uh, container, whatever you want to call it, I filled it with some aquarium water from this tank, and then I filled it with some bacteria, some dirt, some poo, from the filter and put it into this tank and then I put biological media into this little bucket and then an air stone and I left it there for a week and then what I did is I took my little 5-in-1 test strips these are Tetra 5-in-1 test strips and basically I just kept dreading the uh, nitrates and the nitrites, and I did this for a week now. The thing is, I already had bacteria from this tank to use. If you were going going into this completely blind, you would probably have to wait at least two to um, two weeks to a month for the biological filtration to you know really be established and make it safe for fish. And the reason why, the, re the really big important reason why we do this is because of the fish cycle, the fish waste cycle. So a fish will poo. Uh, fish poo turns into ammonia. Ammonia is very toxic to fish. It will kill your fish. Now, I'm going to put out numbers here. They're not exactly going to be scientifically correct. Just stay with me. This is just for a general idea. What, what we want to do with this bacteria that we are growing in our tanks, we want the bacteria to dilute the ammonia and turn it into nitrite. We turn it into nitrite, then the bacteria eats it again, or at least the bacteria does, and turn it into nitrate. Nitrite is about half as toxic as uh, ammonia. So, it's still pretty toxic, though. Now, nitrates, I would say, is less than a tenth of the toxicity that the toxicity... I probably can't even say that word right. Toxicity. It's probably a lot less toxic than ammonia ever could be. But still in high amounts, nitrites... I'm, Nitrate, sorry, I'm reading here. <laughs> nitrate is going to be a lot less toxic than ammonia. I always get nitrite and nitrate confused, but I know nitrate is the one we want. Nitrate is going to be the one that's very, very less toxic than anything nitrite or ammonia is going to be. So that's really important. Now, because I have already had established filtration from this tank, 
I could just wait a week and put it into this tank. That that's why I did. But the whole fish cycle would take you about a month, just to let you guys know. I did yesterday, so I did a 50% water change on this corner. And that is super important because again, even though we have nitrates now, we still have high amounts of nitrates, which is as toxic as ammonia. So we want to dilute that, and we got to dilute that ourselves. That's why we do water changes. And I would say, as a rule of thumb, whenever you are adding fish to either a established new tank or a, a new tank just straight out the bat, Whenever you add new fish, you should always do a 50% water change, especially if you just if your tank just went through the nitrogen cycle, uh, the fish cycle, the fish waste cycle. You want to make sure you dilute those nitrates before you add the new fish. Even though your bacteria ha has done its job, that's the point. It's done its job. Now we gotta take care of the tank ourselves and go do a water change before the nitrates kill our fish. All ready for the fish. So what I'm going to do right now, is I'm going to go grab the box and we're going to unbox these fish. Quick disclaimer card. Now that the disclaimer is all over, I can tell you guys I got the, these guys from a company called ReedCichlids.com, uh, and what they do is obviously breed a bunch of cichlids, which this is indeed a cichlid. What fish did I get? I'll show you guys in just a second. Because I got the box right here. I want to be very, very careful with the box. I just don't want to like jam it in there. When you open a box with live fish, you just barely want to touch it, you just want to get the food. Luckily, they have a uh, foam. They really packed this very nice Reed Cichlids, their website and everything. Again, uh, disclaimer, I'm not with them or anything like that. I'm just trying to share with you guys where I got this fish. And uh, yeah, ReedCichlids.com. If you guys want this fish, go check them out. Oh my god, first looks. First looks. We got wrapping pot. Oh my god, I see a bag. I see a bag. Hopefully, we do not have any DOAs. If you don't know what DOA is, it's dead on arrival. Oh my god, we have a bag! Oh my god, we have a bag! Fuck, I'm able to see this in the bag. Let's float this big train on this bag. Get that in. A really large bag. But I am going to float them like this for 15 minutes. Be back in 15 minutes. Give me a second. Hopefully now they should be temperature acclimated. So this is what I'm gonna do. Because they're such small fish. I'm gonna Take the bag out of take the little bag out of the big bag first and put the fish into here and then I'm going to try to net them out. And we're going to see if we have any unfortunate 
Anyways. Okay, so let's open up the bag and pour them straightly into a tank. If you want to deal with rubber bands, go ahead. I'm just going to turn them off. I think we definitely have a leak. I think I'm just going to... Oh my god, these guys are so cute. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a ride here. Can we get in? Oh yeah. Oh, you sent me five. And all five of them are alive. Okay, so I caught a couple. They are in there. Oh, you can see them. You can see them right down back there. So, everyone probably has a hiding spot. And what I'm going to go do now is I'm just going to turn off the lights and let them settle in. And then I'll make an, an update video on, uh, on these guys. Oh, look. You can see them. I'll make an update video on these guys real soon. Uh, for you guys who don't know what this fish is, these are Shell Dweller Cichlids. Not just any Shell Dweller Cichlids, there's a couple different species. The ones I have are specifically Neerolamprolongus multifasciatus. And they're pretty darn cute and adorable, tiny little fish right now. And in my next video, I'll give you more information about them and all that.